Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review which I promised you guys I was going to do not long ago and that is on the brand new or relatively brand new Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Now I think this is the first time I've ever done a review on anything from Makeup Forever because uh, it's not that I'm not a Makeup Forever fan, it's just that it's never been that easy to get a hold of in the UK until now. Now you can buy it from Debenhams, which is a department store in the UK, and they have an actual makeup stand in their Oxford Street branch, which is in central London, which is where I got mine from. And yeah, so I've been using it for about a week or so, and to get straight to the point, it's an excellent foundation. This is really, really, really good. I'm really glad that I bought this. I went in store and I colour matched myself. The thing is, the difficulty for me to give you a comparison to the normal HD foundation is that I never really used it so much purely because I could never find a shade that matched me. Now, this one that I'm holding is N128. Now, some people that are a MAC NC40, this seems to suit them, but then that's mostly because it's a neutral shade and you are probably leaning more to the neutral side of NC40. I'm very much quite yellow. Then there's the other shade, I think it's 153, which a lot of people use who are around an NC40, too orange for me. So, and I've tried both of them, they just don't work. So I kind of just left it on the side and never really went back to it. But as far as I can remember, it was a very good foundation from those tr random times that I did try it and went out looking like, you know, somebody who hasn't got the right colour foundation on and just not looking great. Anyway, so I heard that they had 40 colours in this range, which obviously is amazing. So I decided to go in store myself and colour match myself. I went up to the till, I wiped off my makeup, I tried out different shades until I found one which I thought matched perfectly to my skin and to my neck area. And this shade is Y385. And this is actually a new shade. From what I know and from what I've read online, there are colour equivalents to the previous uh, HD foundation. So this one here, this N128, there will be a new shade of this. It will just have a different number. You just need to look it up online. But then this one is a brand new shade, so there is no previous equivalent to it which is obviously great for me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to read for you what they claim to do. This is the box, it costs 29 pounds by the way, and it's a standard 30 mil foundation, one fluid ounces, created for the very latest high definition technologies of the film and TV industry. Ultra HD advanced formulas look invisible on 4K camera and to the naked eye, perfect for the makeup pros and for you. Ultra HD foundation feels like a second skin but still provides medium coverage and the light diffusing formula looks natural and makes skin look flawless and feel moisturised. Exclusive 4K complex guarantees invisible, natural and comfortable makeup. The fluid texture blends in seamlessly and conceals imperfections to unify the skin's texture. Great for all skin types and features a full range of shades to cover all skin tones. Yes, yes, yes to every single claim that they have made. This is a fabulous foundation and every single thing that they've written on here, as far as I can see from wearing it for over a week, random days here and there in different conditions, it's been awesome for me. I'm obviously on camera right now, this is just normal HD, or you can choose to watch it in HD if you choose to, somewhere around this button, change it. I don't have 4K yet, thank God, I think 4K is a bloody curse. I mean, what the hell, first they dropped HD on us, which shows up things on your face that your own eye can't see, but yet you can see it on here, and now they're bringing out 4K, which is like... 8 million pixels or something like that, which is like four or five times the power of normal HD. Why are you doing this to us, really? What's gonna happen is someone's just gonna keep staring at that spot on your face and they won't be able to concentrate on what you're saying. But we got a roll with the punches, we got a roll with the times, so that is obviously why they have brought out this. So this is going to be a savior to those of you who are on screen all the time that are going to start bringing out all the 4K stuff is still relatively quite new. Not everybody has got a 4K camera, um, but it will slowly roll out, it'll get cheaper, then all of us will have it, including probably myself at some point. So it says, it feels like second skin. Yep, definitely, it blends in beautifully, seamlessly. It's got a lovely texture to it. It feels quite silky when I apply it as well. 
and still provides the medium coverage. I'd say it's medium to buildable coverage. So definitely this is two pumps on my face with a tiny little bit extra just to cover any extra marks that I've got. It covers redness, imperfections and conceals for me too. So I don't have to wear any concealer on top. Light diffusing formula looks natural and makes the skin look flawless and feel moisturized. Um, it has got that whole natural feel to it. Same sort of way as Too Faced uh, Born This Way foundation has that very natural skin feel to it. So your skin doesn't feel matte. It doesn't feel really, really soft. It's got a slight tack to it, just like normal skin, because your normal skin has obviously got natural oils and that sort of thing. So it feels exactly like normal skin, but it doesn't transfer obviously as easily, even though I've only had my makeup on for like a little while, but still. And it makes the skin look flawless. And yeah, it gives a really gorgeous, flawless finish. Guarantees invisible, natural and comfortable makeup. Invisible, yes. Natural, yes. Guarantees comfortable makeup, yes. Can't feel it, doesn't feel cakey. I think this would work well on dry skin, on oily skin, on all skin types. I've worn this in various different types of conditions. We've slowly moved from summer into autumn quite quickly in the UK. I mean, it takes ages for summer to get started. And when it finally starts, oh, here's autumn. But I've gone from wearing it towards the end of August when it was still kind of warm and now it's September when it's starting to like kind of cool down. So I've worn it with um, air conditioning in the heat as well as with heating on and it stays beautifully. It doesn't oxidize on the skin. It doesn't move around. It doesn't shift around. I only start to get naturally oily probably towards the seven, eight hour mark. And even then it's not too bad. And a slight powder down with some blotting powder or something. And it looks perfect again. So let's just talk about the bottle. It's exactly the same as the old one. And the thing I hate about the old one is that the top used to come off really easily. And the same is with this one. It just comes off. But it's got a lovely pump, which is obviously great. And... It's not too thick, it's not too runny. And as always, I will show you my beauty spot for reference so that you can see the coverage is like. Got my nails done, by the way, guys. What do you think? Birthday nails. This is Aurelie's Wild Wisteria as the base, by the way. And then the nail technician just did some funky designs over the top. So there you go, there's the beauty spot and there's the slightly lighter beauty spot but as you can see, medium coverage as it says and if I was to put another layer on it would cover it up completely. Really nice, soft, easy to blend, seamless, lightweight. So I am overall really, really happy with this foundation. Um, I'm really glad that I got it. I'm really glad that I persevered and actually bothered to go in store to try and test it out on my own face. As far as I'm aware, I think that like, it, it's like, how do I say this? In terms of the shade numbering, it's all really odd. It's like Y means yellow, because my shade is Y385. Um, my Y means yellow and then there is R which is red so with a red base or a yellow base so if you're like me then you would go with Y. There's the next number which is three apparently fair shades go with the number two medium skin tones with a three and darker skin tones with a four. Once you know what your base shade is and then whether you're fair medium or dark you tend to look in that area and that is how you will figure out what your actual shade is. It's really confusing why can't you just call it light brown? dark anyway so that's how they've done it but overall i would give this foundation a 10 out of 10 i think it's amazing i think everybody should have it um especially if you are working a lot or in photography and that sort of thing again with the 4k it will make your skin look amazing and if you don't have 4k that means it will look even more amazing because you've just got a normal hd camera or whatever it leaves the actual finish itself is a nice kind of satiny sort of finish but with the whole natural skin sort of feel to it. So yeah, so I think that's about it. So that's two thumbs up from me. I hope you enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've got any more questions. Feel free to ask me below. Other than that, hope you're having a wonderful day. I am, it's great. I'm off work, it's September. It's my birthday week, got my birthday nails done. Soon I'll be going away for my birthday. Woohoo to me. 
by the way, I put myself a challenge on Twitter to see if I could reach, th reach 13,000 subscribers by September the 13th, which is the date of my birthday, just for the hell of it, no actual reason, just for jokes. And I did, I did it today, woohoo! So yay, 13,000 13, subscribers to me. And thank you all, all old subscribers, loyal subscribers, new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Thank you very, very much. That is your birthday present gift to me. And I'm a very happy Virgo, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.